What happened at the end of Fast and Furious 9, and who is the mystery person who came to the family reunion at Toretto's house? You probably think that for obvious reasons this person is Brian, but you might be surprised if you know some additional details of who this mystery person really is. That's why today I want to talk to you about who was in the car at the end of Fast and Furious 9. If you like amazing topics and theories related to Fast 10, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be among the first to see our content. We all know the great story that Brian O'Connor has with Dominic. What started out as a plan by the police to infiltrate Dominic's gang so they could arrest them all turned into quite the opposite. Brian not only helped Dominic and broke the rules of the game but he became someone else in the family to everyone. When this story began we saw that Brian tried to join the group and had several complications as some of the group didn't like him and distrusted him. Recall in the first movie how even Toretto confronts him and asks him directly if he is a cop. Then little by little he gained everyone's trust until finally the whole truth came out and Toretto learns that he is indeed a cop and that all that time he was tricked by undercover cop Brian O'Connor. Then we saw how Brian occupied a very important place in the story of Fast and Furious until we saw him say goodbye in a very emotional ending. In this scene we saw how Dominic and Brian meet side by side and then go their separate ways implying that Brian decided to retire from all that life to devote himself to his family. This would seem to be the end of this character in this great story but apparently this is not the end and there are many references that Brian could be in the next stories of this great film. Something that leaves us with many questions is that there are also several theories of the supposed veracity of everything that has happened in the story since the movie number 4. We talked in one of our videos that there is a theory which states that Toretto could be in a coma in a hospital and that everything that happened in the last movies could be part of his mind. This is certainly a good point to think about since it would explain the reason for many of the unbelievable and even unreal things we see in the story. But in reality it is all speculation and what we know so far is that the end of the movie number 9 of Fast and Furious clearly shows us that someone important to everyone has just arrived at the meeting at Dominic's house. We already talked in previous videos that Brian was mentioned in the movie number 8 briefly making reference that he is well with his family and totally retired from that world to which he longed for a long time. Although we all know the obvious reason why Brian would no longer be in the story, we never imagined that technology will change so much that we could practically now have that character back so that together with Toretto they can give an epic ending to the story. All these details took more strength in part 9 since now the idea that Brian could return or could be part of the next movie is stronger. At the end of this movie we see how everyone is gathered and Dominic tells your son not to get up because there is someone missing and quickly Mia responds that the person they were waiting for is about to arrive. Then in the next shot we see a blue car quickly approaching the house and then enters directly into the area where everyone is gathered. We all think that who arrived in that car was obviously Brian but there are different versions and theories that are quite interesting and I think we should mention. On the YouTube channel Cynetic which is a channel that talks about different things related to movies they talked about these theories. Many thought that the person who arrived in that car was not Brian but one of Dominic Toretto's friends who was in the first movie but we never heard from him again. Cynetic also said that others thought it was Toretto's brother because Toretto's favorite color is blue. We ruled this out as well since his car is totally different from the one we saw entering at the end of the movie. So finally yes we can understand that the person who came to that meeting is Brian. So this would change everything we could think of this story since we could see a Brian deeper into the story and with more protagonism. We talked in previous videos that thanks to technology we were able to see Brian in scenes that he never actually filmed and that they used his own brother to help recreate those images so that we could all enjoy Brian again. 
What we do not know is what role Brian will play in the next season or if we will see him quietly in some scenes or if he will be part of the story with much more prominence thanks to the special effects and technology that did not exist before but now as we all know it does. Do you agree with them recreating Byron and computer and using the special effects to give us a unique experience and that we see Brian together with Toretto finish the Fast and Furious movie saga? Or do you think they shouldn't do it and respect Brian's memory by leaving him alone in memories? Leave me your opinion in the comment box so we can read it. If you like this video don't forget to like and share it with your friends. This is Fast Universe.